Let's you get you going. You and your partner go to roll through questions one through three associated to this data plan problem. So this data plan problem pertains to cell phones, smartphones in particular that use data. And this plan, being used by a college student, charges, it comes with two gigs. So notice the X variable says data used over allowance. So that means gigs used past two gigs. So everybody understand what that means? You get two gigs for free or whatever part of your plan, and then there's a charge for everything over. And there's an option A or option B for these two. Okay, that's where you can see the A of X and the B of X. So here's our two options. Oops, I was not on the pencil. Our two options are, we got there. Option one and option two. Option A, option B. All right, so your job for problem one is you're going to look at how much it would cost for each option when you have an input of one. For problem two, you're going to say how much is each option for an input of 7.5. And then problem three, you're going to give sentence context of what these functions mean in reference to the situation. So like a sentence. What does this mean in context of the situation? And we're going to go all those together in like 8 to 10. All right? So 1, 2, and 3. I don't want you to move on to the graph and stuff. I want to make sure 1, 2, and 3 are correct first. So get going. 1, 2, and 3 on your packet, please. So as we go over uh, problems one, two, and three, you might need to rewrite what you have to be the correct notation. As I went around, most people were like getting what the problem was throwing, but the notation's kind of important because it has meaning, and if you rewrite something in a different way, it has different meaning. So looking at problem one, a of one, so if a of x is 60, a of one is also 60, and b of one would be 35. Okay. Now, if you wrote A equals, that would be incorrect. There is no A. A is just a label saying the function A. B is just a label saying the function B. There is no like value for B. In fact, the input is what, what letter in an ordered pair? What is the input? X. X. So what it would mean is input 1 here has an output of 60. And for B, input 1 has an output of 35. Well, if we have two different input outputs, how do we differentiate between the two? We have two lines, and we can signify that by labeling our two lines differently, function A, function B, okay? Does everybody see that? Yeah. So it, essentially, A of 1 is Y, B of 1 is Y, but they show that the, the two different Ys for the two different functions. So I saw some A equals B equals out there. That'd be incorrect technically. A like of 1. It has to be A of 1, right. or, yeah, for this case, because this means 1 gig over the allowance. Okay, so for number 2, we had A of 7.5 equals 60, and B of 7.5 equals 100. So you, again, you can't have A equals or B equals. We need A of and B of. And the, in the ordered pairs, it didn't ask for it. I'd just like to point it out. So when my input was 7.5 here, I had an output of 60. And when my input was 7.5 here, I had an output of 100. So you don't need those ordered pairs, but I just like the context. Like A of 7.5, what that equals this, that is actually Y, right? The, the X is the input, the Y is the output. That's why it's called function notation, because we look at functions as if inputs and outputs. So for question three, I'm going to write them up here uh, by the functions. Um, for a, Next to A of X equals 60, who can tell me what that means in context? What does it mean in context? Ivy? Yeah, I'm going to say $60 for that unlimited plan, okay? So it doesn't matter how many gigs go over, it's 60, straight 60, all right? In context, what is option B? Josiah, you got it for me? It's like, boom, they hit you with that $25 fee for going over and then 10 bucks a gig after. All right? So this is that person that's at McDonald's asking for the Wi-Fi password. All right? They're trying to be careful. You ever been around one of those people always asking for the Wi-Fi password? Yeah. Yeah. It's either A, they don't get data, or B, they're rocking an iPod Touch. Right? Or a deactiv deactivated cell phone, I guess, could be a thing, too. But 
Not me, man. I got that unlimited. I'm straight savage. I walk out the room. I'll put Netflix on. On the phone. No Wi-Fi. Just burning data for fun. All right. So let's graph it. You're going to work on three and four with your partner now that we're on the same page with what, what each one means. So you're going to graph it and then interpret it for, what is that, five? That's going to be four and five. Let's go. All right, guys, let's look at these graphs next. Here's my uh, graph for A. Just always 60 bucks, right? My graph for B is I got that $25 fee, and then it goes up 10, 10, 10, 10. I'm going to do a little dashed action on that just so it looks different. All right, so there's my two graphs. And then let me, let me get rid of some space here so we can talk about uh, how much is she budgeting each month for it? 50. 50, right? So wh here's, here's what that means. In context, is, is A an option if she only has 50 bucks? No. No, she can't get that unlimited, right? So really what that means is what input would there need to be to get to $50, right? So if B of X is 50... That means that 50 equals 10x plus 25, correct? If B of X is 50, that means that 50 has to equal 10x plus 25. You feel me? So what I'm going to do then is solve for X. So X is 2.5 gigs over 2 gigs. So you got to be careful how you label that one because if it asks, like, how much data can she use, well, she can actually use four and a half, right? How much data over two can she use? That's what this two and a half is, right? You can also find this spot on the graph right here. Nope, just kidding. At 50, so right here, right? That's less accurate, right? Because this point right here is 2.5 50, which means 2.5 gigs over the two gigs $50. That is this spot right here. The graph selects accurate. I'd go algebraic there myself. All right. So it's all about inputs, outputs. And notice we put the 50 in for this left side. The whole thing, B of X is 50 because we're looking for X. So you could also write this as uh, B of 2.5 equals 50. I would take that answer too. Both those would be good answers. I'm going to show you how to, for problem 5-3, I'm going to show you how to find B of 6. Okay? So the first thing in your notes there is B of 6. And what does that mean? Which value is 6, X or Y? Uh, y. X. B of 6 is Y, which means, but what is Y when 6 is my input? B of 6 means X is 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my graph here. See how I can click on there? And I'm going to look for when X is 6, which I need to go higher here. Three, ooh, I'm gonna zoom out actually a little bit. So notice I'm clicking and dragging and I'm still not to six. There it is, right? It's almost there, guys. Oh, 5.99, 6.01, six. So what does that point mean? Well, when I use six gates, how much does it cost? 85 bucks. So your answer for one is B of six equals 85. You guys see how I did that? I actually got 85. Yeah, it is. I need you to practice using the graphing technology, though. Okay, so go down to the first answer. Let's go down to the first answer for two. It says B of X is 93. So which variable do I know, X or Y? For the first one on number two, B of X is 93. What, do I, what is 93? Is it X or is it a Y? Y. It's Y, right? I'm looking for the input. So I'm going to go along here, and I'm going to look for a y value of 93. And it is right. Oh. 6.85. 6.85. 6 I almost got it. Come on, mouse. Boom. 6.8. So it is 6. Point. So the way you're going to want to write this is this. You're going to, there's two ways. I will take uh, x equals 6.8. Okay, or B of 6.8 is 93. I'll take either one of those for the answer. That would be for the B of X equals 93 because then this is the X value, right? 
All right, so you and your partner are going to get the four others. So, four, two of them are giving inputs, two of them are getting outputs. All right, y'all, let's get some answers. So let me show you the hack I like to do. So for the B, the B of 2.75, I know that X is 2.75. And then I can just go and see where these two things cross. So when my input is 2.75, my output is 52.5. All right, and then for the last, which that one you could have clicked and made happen. This next one was a little tougher, unless you zoomed in, 1.482. So when X is 1.482, it cost me $39.82. That's what that means. So if you go 1.482 gigs over, which I don't know what phones measure to the nearest tenth of a gig, I would have thought, maybe not. So then the next one. It's a little tougher because it doesn't just give you a letter, right? So when I have B of X, that means I'm looking for which letter? It means I'm looking for X. I know why. So if I have B of X is 42.1, I can say Y equals 42.1, and I can see where that crosses. And what that tells me is if it cost me $42.10, I used 1.71 gigs of data. And for the last one, I paid what, 116 bucks? Break the bank. $116.25. That would get you 9.125 gigs of data. All right, so that's how we're going to use those inputs, outputs, right? So just framing up that that something of X equals the Y value is, you know, a little messy in the head for a second unless you're really understanding um, function notation, but it's good. All right.